hey, 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 snuck up on me. It's me. Hey, mama. Jeff Taylor. I'm your host of the Mad Just Music Show. Welcome to the show. Exciting show today. I have the lovely Miss uh, Cynthia Johnson, you know, as the voice of Funky Town, man. I'm so excited to have her on my show, man. Before we get into that, though, real quick, let's get into some news like we always do. Right? What's in the news today, you ask? Well, here's what's in the news, people. The holiday. You know what the holiday is? Oh, it's when you just celebrate. And now we have another reason to celebrate because June Dink has been named an actual holiday. Now, who's excited about that? I am. See, this is what a good president and a good vice president should do. They should do stuff like that. They should make a, a holiday, worthwhile holiday, a current holiday, a holiday that affects the people, that applies to the people, that the people need. Ah, ah, you know what I'm saying. Gotta love them for doing that. Hey, and also in the news, guess what? It's time for reparations, baby. Since y'all giving holidays, y'all may as well pop off and take the time for reparations from the sounds of blackness now available on all of those hot spots. You can get that music at, you know what's good. So anyway, hey, welcome to the show. It's another show. It's another day. My guest is coming up in just a moment. She's in my green room. I'm about to bring her out right now. It's the lovely Miss Cynthia Johnson, and you know her as the voice of Funky Town. Yeah, that's uh, that's Cynthia right there. She's the girl in the group. Now Cynthia is uh, she's a singer. She was in this group here, Flight Time, with some very talented guys, some of which you may recognize. The original Flight Time band. So how crazy is that? Because you know how good a musician Cynthia has to be to be in this band with these dudes right here? Because these are some bad musicians right here. I just love the fact that they all came up together playing this music thing, and uh, they all grew up in the same neighborhood, and you know they had a love for music. And uh, hey, man. One of the leaders and one of the guys that she grew up with was this dude, man. She hung out with Prince and sang with Prince and just had a long and amazing career that eventually led her down a road to Funky Town, USA, baby. <laughs> I just love it, man. I love the story of Cynthia Johnson. And I'm trying to get her on the air right now. Without further ado, I'm about to bring her to you. Here she is. Stand by, ladies and gentlemen. In the studio. Say hello, man. This is Cynthia Johnson. Oh, this is crazy. Hello? Cynthia. This is horrible. <laughs> I'm in a house full of teenagers. Oh, my. And I have no idea where they put my headphones. And I don't know what this contraption is that I have in front of me. It's the biggest set of headphones I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> well, welcome to the show. We, I'm so glad you could just do the show. I hear you. Can you hear me? I hear you fine. Okay. I hear you loud and clear. How are you? I'm blessed. You are. Very blessed. And I have my great nieces and nephews with me for Juneteenth. And we've just been running all over the place. So I stopped everything to do this, and I can't find a set of headphones. You know, I'm honored that you would do this on Juneteenth. I know there's so much going on in the city, and I know you as a singer, as a performer, you're involved in a lot of those things. Usually that, that's going on some way or another. Maybe it's the later night crowd that you'll be singing at. What you doing tonight? Well, you know, tonight I'm, I'm chilling with the kids. Oh, good for you. And, and that is... Uh, big fun for me because uh -huh. you know i have one granddaughter and she's just turning two today uh -huh. my freedom child nice and so uh the teenagers i get them until they can't stand their auntie anymore <laughs> and then my granddaughter will be old enough to leave her mommy so i'm looking forward imagine. to that listen uh yeah. I, I can't imagine them ever wanting to leave you because your, your demeanor is so peaceful and kind. I mean, we were we were trying to work through some technical difficulties, and you were just so at peace that you know it's impossible to you know to not to not be patient with somebody as kind as you are. So, not to mention talented. <laughs> Thank you. My God. I I wish I could have been more ready, 
But we were doing all the uh, Juneteenth festivities today. And, uh, I understand. I, sometimes I have to yeah. slam my butt down in this chair to get this done, girl. <laughs> no, I understand. I understand. That's after days of preparation. Believe that. Yeah, I um, believe it. Okay. It's a lot. Okay. Hey, so talk to me about this right here because, um, yeah, you, what's up? What's up? I mean, this is, it's a throwback. I done took you back. Others who I love dearly, I, I, those guys were the most wonderful men I've ever met in my life. They treated this sister with the utmost respect. It could have all went very differently. And uh, I love those guys to this day. They are, they are amazing men. Um, and I feel more than blessed to have uh, experienced music business with them because they really protected me because I was such a green kid. I was such a little church girl, you know, mm -hmm. and they kept all of that intact. And um, it could have been a different story. <laughs> true, true. But your story, your story is, your story as it is, is crazy. It's it's quite a story. I mean, let's 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 go back. Let's go back because we let's we were just talking about afros and stuff like that a minute ago. But you also back in the day yeah. were Miss Teen Black Minnesota, right? That's right. What? And I kept the fro, and I kept the fro. I still do the fro That's what till that. this day. You That's know what? Like. When I did um, Miss Black Uni uh, Miss Black Universe Minnesota wow. is what it was. That's when I met Gary Hines um, back during that time. And I connected with him and uh, became a member of the Sounds of Blackness back then. Yeah. See, that's, you know so, what? I, I'm, I'm feeling like an idiot right I didn't know you were in the Sounds of Blackness. Oh, yeah. <gasps> and once a sound member, you're always, always a sounds without member. Without question. Without that's, question. Yeah. Without question. That's amazing. I'm, so how so that was before Funky Town? That was that was before Funky Town and after Funky Town. <laughs> wow. Wow, see yeah, this is I, this is interesting. This is very interesting. So I've actually toured with the tour team with uh with Gary Hines okay. and uh, um but I didn't start touring with them until after Lip Sync. I got you. Got you. And that's a whole nother story as well all right all right so then, yeah. here's the thing so so you so you out of minneapolis born and raised up there you you jam it with it the, look terry lewis is my man that's my guy right there that's my that's my guy yeah that's that's my terry mentor. keeps it so real terry, you gotta love him you that's, know? The thing, that's the thing about terry right he's the realest dude if you don't want to know the truth don't ask him that's what don't ask him. Because <laughs> when he goes to do it like this he, he about to really tell you the real truth he get real serious in his eyes and he'd be like and you know what? He and got it. He got it honestly <laughs> because his mom oh, yeah, is keeps All it day. real. All and day. I just love her. Yeah, she's an amazing woman. Mm -hmm. So so amazing, amazing legacy. So you're in this band. And I was saying during my open, you know how good you have to be to be in this band as a girl? <laughs> well, you know what, what did it? And I think part of what did it is um, I was a saxophone player. And that, I think, um, swayed them because they were not only getting a female vocalist, they were getting a horn player. And so uh, back in the 70s, in the early 70s, that was quite impressive. And they went, they went with that all the way. And in addition to that, you sang, and that was, uh, that was an obvious plus. I mean, now, when you left this group, I, you know, I understand they had to they had to go out and find the all true man in order just to replace you to get somebody up there front who could hold who could hold their own like you, huh? Well, you know, <laughs> Alexander O'Neill. Uh, Alexander O'Neill was uh, quite different from from myself and mm -hmm. the flight time before I I joined flight time. They were used to a, an all male presence. Mm -hmm. um, they generally kept it like that. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, because women can complicate things for men. Uh, when a woman, woman jumps into an all-male situation, it can ruffle things. Um, but uh, uh, in, in this case, um, uh, they, they made an exception for me. And when I left flight time, I was feeling quite antsy because they were laying down roots. Um, Terry uh, had uh, had a son. Um, the guys were, uh, Bird was on trumpet. He was, uh, Gary was going to get married and he was going to leave the group. And, wow. and I wasn't making no money. Right. And I was like, you know, I got to spread my wings. Either I have to make some money or I have to leave. And I wasn't making any money. So I sort of drifted away from flight time and started doing uh, commercials mm -hmm. and voiceover work. And I was doing supper clubs and I started to work with other musicians. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I started to make some money. And so I just sort of walked away from flight time. Okay. And then they, uh, they met um, Alexander O'Neill, which okay. is, uh, was amazing and Imagine wonderful. It. And uh, yeah. Well, that's awesome. That's I mean, I, I get it. it. I mean, I've been in bands. I know how that goes. I mean, you just, something happens over time and the band just kind of goes their own different directions for a bit. And, you know, it's a weird thing that happens with bands. But during that time, it I mean, is. you when you were drifting, you drifted into the into the the realm of this individual here. Yes, that photograph right there, I remember it clearly because I was pregnant at the time, oh. um, and we were uh, recording uh, actually a second. Uh, we were co recording some tunes for the second uh, project, um, but yeah, I ran into him. And it was interesting because the women that he was auditioning to do his demo said, I think you need to get in touch with Cynthia. And I think she's the one that, that you need. And um, fortunately, uh, it worked out. I was able to hit those high notes, which is really what he needed because uh, the people weren't really hitting those notes. Right, right. And so uh, he just needed somebody to do his demo. He was not really looking for me, per mm -hmm. se. He, he needed the voice that could deliver his song. And that's how that all came about. Yeah. What an amazing thing. I mean, wow. I mean, you know, it's like you can't not know this song. Yeah. I mean, you can't not know that that be. I don't want to get sued, so you know, I only play a little bit. I'm like DJ Little. Yeah, bit. I understand because <laughs> he would probably he probably would sue you. He's trying to get a license. I mean, so this thing turned into a license bonanza, basically. I mean, it's, let's just keep it real. Let's just keep it real. This thing, this song, this little song that nobody in the hood really digs. Nobody. That's did. right. Black people ain't keep ain't dancing real. to this. No. Nah. But and it's making what? boatloads and boatloads of money. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, <laughs> for looking out for a sister in the hood who don't like disco. Uh, Never really did. Right, I right. mean, I was a sister that was uh, into funk I and know. R and B. You came and so when I went in, when I was when I was asked to do his demo, it was just it was a studio gig, and I was expecting a check at the end of the delivery. And it was a strange presence for me mm. because I was used to being in the studio with tea and with, you know, uh, what do you need to make you comfortable? And, you know, uh, more of a camaraderie building for some moments, but this was very sterile. It was like doing a jingle. Wow. And uh, I drew on my experience, which was uh, my experience with flight time and my experiences singing with my sisters. And I had to bring that to the table because disco was not in my wheelhouse. Right. And it was taking work 
from bands like Flight Time and uh, all the bands in the hood that I grew up with. It was taking work from us. So, you know, God has a sense of humor because I never in a million years thought I would sing a disco song. That's funny. Well, then it just goes off and hits number one, stays on the charts forever and ever and ever. You know, not a bad, uh, not a bad uh, thing to happen to a person, a singer. It, it was really a beautiful thing. And it was a beautiful thing in the middle of a nightmare <laughs> because uh, my relationship with the whole um, with the whole business of music and the relationship with my husband at the time, they were both nightmares. My husband was, uh, uh, was abusive and my music uh, career into disco uh, was very abusive. That's, that's the best word I could, I could reach for Man, that's rough. Uh, in and this it, quick moment. And I know it's a, it's a tough, it's such a tough, tough business. So I admire, I admire the, your tenacity and your ability to be in it for as long as you've been in it. Let me tell you a funny story about how I first heard about you. <clears throat> when I moved to Minneapolis in, uh, in uh, 89 or 90 or something like that, early 90s, you were performing, I think, at um, someplace out in St. Louis Park, and you were with a part of a band. I think it was Dr. Mambo's yes. combo. Okay, okay, all right. So maybe it could have been anybody. You were you, you were gigging. <laughs> I know that you guys. Once I found out who you were, you were actually gigging. But but, but the interesting and the funny story is that there was a, I was with a guy and you were singing and I was like, who is that? And he was like, oh, that's the Funky Clown. That's the Funk. So I so I said, okay. Man. So so I took that to mean he said that's the funkiest singer in town right there. That's the funkiest <laughs> singer in town. So later on, somebody asked me, like, hey, man, what's the name of this band? I was like, I don't know, man, but that girl up there in the front, she the funkiest singer in town. <laughs> about That's a year funny. later, Cynthia, I swear, a year oh, later, yeah. I realized he meant you were the singer who sang Funky Town. Anyway, and that's, so, that's how it goes. You know what? Uh, uh, if it was St. Louis Park, I was probably with a band called Pyramid, which was a lot of the Lips Inc. band members. Ah, how about and that? Uh, I ended up working uh, with them in some projects and, and stuff like that. So now that, that how long yeah. were you in that band? How long did that last for you? You know, I don't know. Probably a couple of years. I don't. I don't know. I sort of drifted around everything that felt good because. The situation that I was in did not feel good. I was not really able to to be me. And that's a horrible thing to do to a conscious sister hmm. who, um, you know, who is very proud of her, of herself and yeah. her uh, culture and her experiences. It was very difficult for me. So, um, yeah. Look at this photo uh, right here. This is you. This is you fighting through all of that stuff, man, and just being cognizant right now in the world. This is just. This is just recently. This is you looking great. Survivor. That's recently. Survivor for real, man. That was for the um, Super the Bowl. Super Bowl. Yeah, that's the Super 2018. Bowl. Twenty eighteen. So you got a yeah, chance to that reunite was with some of those guys and uh, and and do your thing. I thought that was I thought that was awesome to see because you know I just I love the I love the flight time, you know my loyalty to flight time is, is it runs deep, and uh, just knowing that you were like the sister of flight time is really like one of the coolest things about having you on my show. I'm just so stoked about that. But love to see you oh, sing. Oh yeah, man. you're a real oh, singer. It was, it was it was one of the happiest times in my life to see all those guys that meant so much to me and the impact that they made in my life. It was, um, it was a real blessing. You guys are just jamming it out, man. And I, you yeah. know, that's, to still be there, still doing it, still playing, still loving it, still, you know, still being friends, man. You know how hard it is, you know, just to maintain friendships in this world today. I mean, good Lord, it's girl. It's difficult. That's it's hard. difficult. It's hard. Fortunately, fortunately, we uh, we were we were uh, formed in love, and we stuck mm. with it. 
Yeah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> yeah. Kind and wonderful to each other. That's always that's always a good thing. Hey, guess what though? Before I let you get out of here, I want to play a little game with you real quick because I like to show you a few images and just just like a doctor. You just tell me what comes to mind and we'll we'll talk about it a little bit, right? So first one is here, and I just want to know what you think about this. Pop filter, yes or no? What do you a pop filter sing or no? said what's the first thing that comes to my mind the pop you know are you a, i'm just wondering are you a pop filter singer yes or no dude do i need a pop if i'm your engineer do i need to get a pop filter on you and have you this far back from your microphone you know what i do need to have that that pop screen uh that you know i need to have that that pop screen uh yeah okay. i'm trying to, trying to stop those plosives and, and control how much of your voice i can get into the microphone as opposed to how you know what is what is popping in Anyway, this you know is one of the pictures. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Can you hear me better now? Hold on. That's a little better. I think my music, music is cranked up. Let me get my music down here a little bit. Loud. That's my problem. Yeah, I'm a pop screen person. Pop screen person. There we go. That's what I was trying to get to. I got another picture for you, real quick. Should we do this? Should we bring this back? Is this a look for the future? What? I love it. This is. What's that, bro? Let's go with Afros. Let's bring Afros back. I'm inspired by Afros after seeing your pictures and stuff. You know, I was watching, going through your pictures. I was like, Afros should come back. They sure should. I, I have never gotten rid of my face. All right, I got one more for you. This is the last one. And what comes to mind when you see this photo? <laughs> the flight time horn section. The flight time horn section, probably David Island, because he could work any instrument. He's bad. David's a bad man. Great, yes, great musician. Is. Great musician. Yes, well, he is. Let's see. So let's see. We got the Super Bowl. We doing. We still doing shows. You're still working. You're still singing and performing. What's What's coming up for you now? Any new releases coming out from you soon? You know, I've uh, enjoyed spending my time working with young artists, helping them write and develop their songs. Um, I spend a lot of time ever since COVID, uh, a lot of gigs I just had to put to the wayside. And I have, you know, I'm quite the foodie. Hmm. And I uh, go to wellness centers and uh, do lectures and go in the kitchen and teach uh, food courses. Hmm. Uh, I prepare meals for people who are ill that come to wellness centers from all over the world and uh, help them to heal and teach them uh, how to change their uh, poor habits into That's good great. habits. That's great. That's incredible. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, you know, so and, since and we need that. And, and this time of COVID and vaccinations and everything, I found it uh, very interesting in the, and, 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 and quite funny that at one time, flight time was considered the name soul vaccination. Isn't that, isn't that correct? <laughs> you know what? I wasn't in on that uh, conversation. Uh, 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 uh. Soul no, vaccination. That had, be, that had to be prior to me, <laughs> uh, just prior, because right. it was always it was always, always flight time. time. We had yeah. a little we had a little controversy on how to spell it, uh, right. and there was always this tiff between David Island and the rest of us, you know, that we were spelling it wrong, you know. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. Like I saw somewhere on the chat. Just not long ago, where David said it bugs me when people don't spell this correctly, and I was like, "Damn, David, that's right. That's funny. That's right. That's incredible. He means it. I know he does. He, he's hey, but you know what? His it's this the brain. They're the brain children. You guys are all the brain children of this thing. So to to see it grow to where it's gone is is amazing. I mean, your journey, beauty queen, flight time, funky town to the to the Super Bowl to now and we're still working you're still young and beautiful so I mean you know you're still I'm working. still young honey yes still I'm and... still young I, I'm gonna <laughs> work it till I drop yeah I got lots of pictures I you know you got lots of pictures I mean still very young and, and ready to vivacious let's get this girl let's keep working that's yeah. what time it is let's keep on working for as long as uh, they call me I'm gonna show up <laughs> I love it I love it. Cynthia, thank you so much for coming on to my show, darling. I really appreciate having you here as a guest to talk to me. I, won't I take appreciate up it. And I'm so sorry I couldn't get the headphones right and the light, you know. Oh, 
headphones. Okay. The light. When the kids came in to give me the headphones, of course, they opened up that door. And now all that light is coming in. Sorry. Well, maybe we'll, we'll revisit it again. Maybe we'll do it face to face. Maybe I'll come in with a camera crew because I think you're that essential to the history of the music industry of Minneapolis and the world for the contribution you've made. So maybe we do it on a bigger scale. People better get behind me because you're a legend. We can certainly. We can certainly do that. Let's do that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Cynthia Johnson, the one and only. Thank you so much, darling. Blessing. Blessing, peace, and love. Take care of yourself. You I'm too, Matt dear. Jeff. And I'm excited because I had a really cool guest on my show today. She was a great person. So, listen, I wanted to talk to you about my next guest who's coming on the show. Check this out. Check this out. When the pimp's in the house, stop it like it's hot. No, I'm just playing. No, I'm not playing. That's Prof T. That's Tony Tolbert, flight time crew in the house, the flow, low key, Prof is the homie, man, look at this dude, this songwriter, producer, you know, Prof has been there, man, he's he's just done legendary stuff, man, and he's been a part of this team for a minute, and he's going to come out and grace the show, not next Tuesday, but in July, July 6th, because guess what your boy is doing next week? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. I'm taking a little vacation. I gotta knock a couple days off because you know I need that, man. Because I put a lot of energy into this show, into this love that I'm bringing to you, man. So I'm hoping you're feeling it. I know you are. I know you are because I'm seeing the likes on YouTube and on Facebook and stuff like that. And I'm stoked about that because I'm bringing you the realness, and I'm glad you're able to handle it. There's real people talking about real things. I want to talk about another real thing before I let you folks go, and that is something that's very important and dear to me, and that is that. Of course, my guests are always important. This Johnson is super important to me, but this is also a very important matter. That is, there are a lot of people that are confused about what's happening in the world and their lives, and they need somebody to talk to. And if you're one of those people, look, pick up the phone and dial this number, 1-800-273-TALK, and then just talk to somebody, because somebody may know what you're going through. Somebody may be able to relate to you and to help you to get better. And that's what we want at the end of the day. So you're going to do that if you need to do that. Hey, if you want to get a hold of me on social media, it's really not that hard. All of my stuff is out there. I'm on Magic. I'm on, uh, I'm on, I'm on YouTube. I'm on Instagram. I'm on, I'm on Twitter. And I'm on so many damn places. Guess what? I also did a whole bunch of sample CDs and music production and stuff like that I've done over the years, man. These things are, these things are available for instant download from my digital website. If you want to know how to buy these things, pennies on the dollar, man. Pennies on the dollar. Look, all you got to do is scan that right there to take you right to the website. Download that junk right to your phone, man. Pennies on the dollar. I'm not lying, 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 lying. Listen to me. When I tell you that I also write books and stuff like that, too, I'm trying to educate you, the young people out there in the world. I'm trying to educate you, give you to the veterans, the people who paid the way, the singers that you want to be like, the singers you know you want to be like. Come on, read some of my books, man. Get some feedback on uh, what real people have done to get to the place you're trying to get to. Anyway, that's my show. I should probably go. I should probably go. I just want to make sure I haven't left anything out. Prof T is on the show, and... July 6th, two weeks, I'll be back. I got some exciting guests lined up. Oh my God, man, I'm so stoked, bro. Hey, hey, come back, man. Come back and enjoy me again. I can't wait to see you folks again, man. Come back and just come back and chill with your boy. Come on. And do we meet again? <laughs>